Well, the way we worship in this country has changed dramatically during the pandemic, and for Jehovah's Witness, their whole platform has changed. As Denver 7's Eric Lufer explains, the church is moving away from norms to continue sharing its message of faith. The history of Christianity is that stumbling blocks become stepping stones. COVID-19 was a stumbling block indeed for Jehovah's Witnesses, where there are about 20,000 strong in Colorado among 1.3 million in 13,000 congregations nationwide. We shut down every aspect of our in-person ministry and every aspect of our in-person meetings and every aspect of our in-person conventions. The shutdown included no more door knocking, which has always been the traditional way of spreading the word. Knocking on doors is what we're used to. Um, I've been used to doing that since I was a little kid. Frank and Lori Sutton have been Jehovah's Witnesses for most of their lives, living through an unprecedented change now. We're writing letters and making phone calls to our neighbors, so we're reaching a lot of people this way. Necessary adjustments to keep the church alive. I think it's kind of opened our eyes to different opportunities that we have. All of a sudden now our meeting attendance was swelling, we were bringing in folks who we had not seen for a while. What they haven't learned is how to come out of a pandemic safely. We'll follow the guidance that we're given, but making sure that all lives are kept safe as we uh, kind of do into the new normal. I'm Eric Lufer, Denver 7. Well, that ring or knock at the door could soon be from your neighborhood Jehovah Witnesses. Well, they're getting ready to go door to door once again after suspending the practice because of the pandemic. Well, News 12's Julio Avila has more on the revival of this tradition. After two and a half years of the pandemic squandering any kind of face-to-face -face contact, congregants from the Jehovah's Witnesses are now getting ready to do their well-known door knocking once again. That's kind of our trademark. Uh, that's what we're known for. And uh, uh, our neighbors, you know, they, they expect us to come. Anthony Scandifio is the minister of the congregation's Kingdom Hall in Baychester. He says he's been door knocking for almost 50 years. So to be able to come to their homes, to give them some comfort, to show them that uh, God still cares about us and that there's hope for the future is, uh, is very exciting. To make up for the lost efforts, the Jehovah's Witnesses say they shifted spreading their message through written letters and over the phone. And we began shifting our ministry from that in-person work to, to virtual ministry. Now, the Congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses have already been in full swing since the start of the summer. They've had these mobile carts out on the streets where they've been giving out these pamphlets. The congregation also tells us that these pamphlets are also essential, especially when they can't get into buildings that need a code. And they know that not everyone may open the door to them. If they feel that way, if they, they don't want to discuss anything from the scriptures with us, uh, if they feel they, they don't want to visit, well, we understand that. But even as they return to door knocking, the Jehovah's Witnesses say it'll still carry out sending messages virtually, over the phone, and through literature. In Baychester, Julio Avila, News. If you get a knock on the door, it could be the Jehovah's Witnesses. For the first time since the pandemic, they're starting back up their door-to-door -door ministry. The break in that type of outreach was unprecedented. For more than 100 years, Jehovah's Witnesses spread their religious messages and gained new members by going from house to house. They adjusted throughout the pandemic, writing letters and making phone calls for outreach. They did ministry through online platforms like Zoom. Well, since then, the denomination has returned to in-person gatherings and some are glad to return to door-to-door -door visits now as well. I love to do that, uh, to be able to talk to people and you can see their response. On the telephone and in a letter, you can't see that. And while the pandemic did briefly change how they did their outreach, the number of congregants did grow over that time. There are more than 400,000 new witnesses now. Well, that ring or knock at the door could soon be from your neighborhood Jehovah Witnesses. Well, they're getting ready to go door to door once again after suspending the practice because of the pandemic. Well, News 12's Julio Avila has more on the revival of this tradition. After two and a half years of the pandemic squandering any kind of face-to-face -face contact, congregants from the Jehovah's Witnesses are now getting ready to do their well-known door knocking once again. That's kind of our trademark. Uh, that's what we're known for. And uh, uh, our neighbors, you know, they, they expect us to come. Anthony Scandifio is the minister of the congregation's Kingdom Hall in Baychester. He says he's been door knocking for almost 50 years. So to be able to come to their homes, to give them some comfort, to show them that uh, God still cares about us and that there's hope for the future 
is, uh, is very exciting. To make up for the lost efforts, the Jehovah's Witnesses say they shifted spreading their message through written letters and over the phone. And we began shifting our ministry from that in-person work to, to virtual ministry. Now, the Congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses have already been in full swing since the start of the summer. They've had these mobile carts out on the streets where they've been giving out these pamphlets. The congregation also tells us that these pamphlets are also essential, especially when they can't get into buildings that need a code. And they know that not everyone may open the door to them. If they feel that way, if they, they don't want to discuss uh, anything from the scriptures with us, uh, if they feel they, they don't want to visit, well, we understand that. But even as they return to door knocking, the Jehovah's Witnesses say it'll still carry out sending messages virtually, over the phone, and through literature. In Baychester, Julio Avila, News. If you believe you may know something, you're asked to contact the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. After a two-and-a-half-year hiatus, Jehovah's Witnesses have returned to door-to-door -door ministry. ABC Action News reporter Lady Vasquez explains why now and why Witnesses say it is a crucial part of their ministry. As soon as the pandemic hit, door-to-door -door ministry, a crucial practice for Jehovah's Witnesses, came to a screeching halt. I've been a witness for um, almost 50 years now, and uh, never, ever, had we had to do that before. Much like everyone else in 2020, Ivan Fernandez struggled with what to do next. It was uh, uh, quite uh, a big, big change for us, and we had to make a mental adjustment. According to the Associated Press, the Christian denomination ended all public meetings at its 13,000 congregations nationwide, a move not even done during the Spanish flu pandemic. While a drastic change and a worry for Fernandez, he says the impact didn't hold much weight. In the last two years, uh, approximately 400,000 have been baptized as Jehovah's Witnesses worldwide, which has been quite an increase. Fernandez tells me ministry continued by phone, writing letters and conducting virtual Bible study. There's nothing like that personal contact and, and we're really excited about going back to that. He says they made the decision to suspend door knocking based on Bible principles and collectively agreed to restart one of its most cherished beliefs September 1st, nearly two and a half years later. It was sort of like uh, getting back uh, on a bike again, uh, but uh, uh, it, was, uh, it was a wonderful feeling. And while knocking on a stranger's door comes with its share of anxiety. Actually, on my first door, nobody opened. Fernandez celebrates life's simple rewards. What a pleasure to uh, just be outside in the fresh air, speaking with a person face-to-face. Uh, -face. With more than 200 congregations in the Tampa Bay area, the nearly 25,000 witnesses practice door-to-door -door ministry around three times a week. It's very rewarding. Uh, you know, you know that you're imitating Christ, uh, Jesus Christ cared for others, uh, tried to communicate a positive message of God's kingdom to others as a solution to all of humankind's uh, problems. In Tampa, Lydia Vasquez, ABC Action News.